Hey there guys, in today's video we are going to be converting a flat application into an APK file and testing the result on an Android emulator device. As you can see right now, this is the application I converted running live on my Android device. I really hope you find today's topic interesting, let's dive directly into this. So the first thing to do from your terminal, make sure you have flat installed by doing pip install flat. And over here you can see requirement already satisfied everywhere, I have flat installed. And to see which version is installed, you simply see flat version. And you can see I have the latest flat version at the time I'm making this video, which is 0.21.2. The version 0.22.0 is soon coming, we are working on that. It has a lot of new features which I'm not going to reveal in this video. So simply subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to stay up to date when it comes out so the next step is to create a new project for that we have the flat create command so over here i have flat create and i'm going to show up its help and from its help you can see you have to specify the project name so the name of your project the description of your project and the template to use so you must not specify the description or the template so for the template, it's going to use by default the minimal template, which is just a simple hello world application. But in this case, we are going to be using the counter. So over here, I'm going to say let create the name of my project. I'm going to name it simple counter. The description of my project, as I said, you must not precise this, but I'm just going to add it a simple counter application. And the template to use, we are going to be using the counter template. So I press enter. As you can see, it says over here, run the application by using the flat run simple counter command. So over here, you can see it has been created successfully. And inside the main.py, you can see the very basic counter application, which has successfully been created. So over here, it says execute flat run simple counter to show the application. Flat run simple counter. And this is the application which pops up. And as you can see, the counter application works successfully. So I'm going to close this. So we have built a simple project. And the minimal application we have worked successfully so we are now going to build the android apk application file so to build the apk it's as simple as abc so you just have to use the flat build command and i'm going to open up its help first so you can see all these commands it really has a lot of options you can specify and the most important is you have to precise one of these so you have to tell flat which application you're trying to build are you trying to build a macOS application, a Linux, a Windows application, an APK file? That's what we are going to be building today. So for more information on all of these build options, check out the extensive flat guide we wrote, which specifies how to use each and every one of these options or parameters. So inside the flat docs, you just move to the Python guide. And inside the Python guide, towards the end, you're going to see over here, package app for distribution. So inside this guide, you have all the information you need to know about each and every one of the parameters. And please take into consideration this build platform matrix. So I'm on macOS, so I can build for IPA, APK, AAB, macOS or web, but I cannot build for Linux or Windows. So today we are going to be building for APK. So back to my IDE, I'm going to use just the minimal command, which is get build APK. And it says over here, main not found in the root of flat app directory. So I'm going to navigate to the root of my project by saying cd simple counter. And from here, I'm going to use the flat build APK. So depending on the device you're using, it's going to take about 3 to 10 minutes or more in some cases. So just be patient with it and it's going to build successfully. It took about three minutes, I can say, and the application burst successfully. So let me reduce this terminal and you can see we have here the build directory and inside the build directory, we have the APK. So the command we used, it said flat build APK, so build an APK. And inside the APK, we have the app release.apk. Having successfully built this APK file, we now have to test it on an Android device. So for the testing, I'm going to use a virtual device, also known as emulator, so Android in this case. If you also want to build such a virtual device to test your applications, check out one of my recent videos in which I mention all the details. 
So over here, I'm using the Pixel Fold. I really like this device because you can modify its size. It can go as big as a tablet and it can also shrink as a phone. So the first thing I'm going to do is to keep it always on top. Close this. So to install your APK file on your virtual device, it is very simple. You just grab your APK file and release it on your virtual device. And you can see it says APKs will be installed. So in this case, we have an APK. It's going to get installed and other files will be copied. So we don't have additional files. So no file is going to get copied, but APK, so the APK we have is going to get installed successfully. So when you drop the file, it gets installed. And when you move to your applications uh, over here, you can see this is a simple counter application we just installed. So I'm going to click on it to launch the application. So over here, you can see this is our Android application running successfully on an Android emulator, on an Android feature device. And you can see the counter increments. It seems to have no lag. You can see it's very fast. And over here, I press on the decrement button and it decrements. And you can also modify this. So the value of the counter, I can start with something like 23 and it gets successfully updated. So it's a success. The application file we built runs successfully on the Android emulator. So it's going to run successfully on any Android device you have. If you want to see your application's information, simply long press on the application's icon, click on app info. And over here, you can see all the informations, the notifications per week, no notifications, the permissions granted. You can see it's at the storage. This is the application size, about 85 megabytes. User data, about 19 megabytes. And this is the cache. You can clear the cache, you can clear the storage. Over here, we have the version of the application. If you want to modify the version of your application, there's a parameter option for that in the flat build APK command. You simply have to precise it. And over here, you can uninstall the application. You can force stop the application. And that's actually it. So the application really works successfully. It works like a charm. So that's actually all I wanted to show you guys in this video. We were able to create a simple project, build it for APK, so for Android, and test it directly on an Android device. And all that just with flat and some Python code. You can see over here, we just have about 30 lines of code and we have the application running successfully on an Android device. We have come to the end of this video. If you faced any issue or have any question, please drop them in the comments below and I will respond as soon as possible. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.